Today is a Waltman's first, smoking a pork butt on the Pit Boss Laredo 1000 Platinum. If you want to see how we prepare this delicious pork, stick around while we dig, dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do here on our Pit Boss Laredo. I'd say we're here while we cook outside. That's right, because that's, right. that's what we're doing. This is our first official cook with the Laredo Pellet Grill, and yep. we are so excited yep. that Pit Boss has, has sent this to us. We absolutely love it. We did the unboxing, the burn off, and now it's time to get the cook off. Oh, Finally, geez. and a way that I actually have done this in the oven at home, yes. and we thought about doing ribs or other things for our very first inaugural the maiden voyage, if you a will, brisket. for our yeah. channel doing some pit boss cooking. We decided, you know, let's get where it all started when we really started to get into cooking, when Brett had developed this recipe, what we call the usual suspects, mm -hmm. that is a rub, that is a seasoning. We, we use it for all of those things. So Brett went ahead and we prepped this earlier here. As you can see what we got going on, we've got about an eight pound, just under eight pound, pork shoulder, a Boston shoulder. Now, with this, we just went around and we were looking for any trimmings and actually, the butcher did a pretty clean job on this. There wasn't a whole lot to take off, which I was happy about. Yep. Now, we originally thought, do we want to bust off that fat um, cap off the bottom, pull that off, and we decided, you know what, let's leave it there. Yep. In fact, we are using it uh, we're gonna be strategic about it. Our good buddy, Wade Williams. Thank you, Wade, for the help with this. We reached out to him for some suggestions, the best way to really do this the first time. And he yep. mentioned, you know what, leave that fat side up. So we left it on there and we seasoned yep. this thing liberally. We used the butter as a Binder, but the butter as a binder, and we in fact we put some of the usual suspects, the seasoning in the butter, mm -hmm. and uh, we put this all over, and then we we liberally, very liberally yes. seasoned this pork butt. It's been sitting now for about 20, 30 minutes. I'd say almost 30 yep. minutes now. Yep. It's been sweating, so this thing is going to be ooey and gooey in and, the best way possible. Right, and it's going to be a mess pretty quick. But we're going to go ahead yep. and we're going to run this. So real quick, all we're going to do, we're going to set this at 275. Yep. And the expectation is at about six Between hours. Six or to so. eight hours. Well, there about we six hours, I'll check this. We'll check the internal temp. Correct. Yep. I'll spritz it as needed. And we'll have a little container of water sitting next to the butt right. in the in the in the grill as well. Yep. But we're so we've got that set, and when it gets up to 275, we'll toss this in. Now, Wade, thanks for the help on this. We are putting the water right over where it would be the, what, what, what is the heat element coming up and out of there, where the flame would come if it were uncovered. Uh, we're gonna cook the port butt just to the side because on the same side as the, the smoke stack there. So as the, the heat pushes in and the smoke uh, pushes around, we hope that we get most of that smokiness on that pork butt off to the side here before it escapes out the chimney. So that's the thought with that. We're gonna close this. Get that up to temperature, and then we're gonna toss the pork butt on. We're gonna go ahead and actually use a smoke tube to make sure we got a lot of smoke. So basically, this is the amazing smoke tube. Any tube will work. You wanna fill it till just to give yourself a little bit of space, because I'll be laying this down. This stretches out to about 12 inches. It's about 11 inches long right now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and light these. Now that it's lit, we'll just let that go for about 10 minutes or so. It should burn out on its own, but if it doesn't, I can blow that flame out as long as I've got a lot of smoke in there. We'll lay it down and we'll get this, uh, this cook started. Got our water tin there just to help with moisture overall to make sure this doesn't all get dried out. All right, we're pushing 220 degrees right now. Kind of hard to see. Pushing 221 degrees right now. The auger is spinning. I just opened it, so we're dropping to 269, but we are at 275. We got our smoke tube going. We've got our water there ready to go. We're gonna toss this beast on and get it going. Now, one quick audible I did make, uh, because we are on the lower rack, I didn't want to sit it too high and then lose headroom. I mean, we could have taken the rack out. So one thing I did is I went ahead and flipped it. We are going to go fat side down to kind of protect it, but otherwise we're just going to wait till we get some good color. Let this go about two hours and then uh, we'll check on it. All right, so here we go. We're actually at 198. We are looking at 708 right now. So this has been on for eight hours, almost exactly. We are at temping at 197. We've been here for the better part of the last 45 minutes. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to up the temp 
to just 300 and see because we got less than an hour to go and right now kind of hard to tell we've got a nice dark bark oh on look that. at that bark but look it is not him. over dry so we're good to go take a look at that hard on <laughs> look at take a look at that <laughs> but the uh, the smoke stick has long since burned out it burned out about i'd say an hour and a half two hours ago still perfect we still got just a little bit of water nope yep. that's that's just about dry just a little bit of water left but we've got probably another 30 45 minutes we'll see how we do cool okay so we are close we're almost it, it was hitting 203 just barely it's gone between 310 and 290. I love that it gives us the actual temp there. We're gonna go ahead and start feeling for this. So Brett's gonna open that. Look at that a bark, by oh, the way. Oh, oh. So Brett, go ahead and just poke it. What we're feeling for is just butter. Whether or not it's just butter. Does it feel like butter or there's some tension? There? There's a little tension. Okay, you now poke towards the back. That's probably where you're gonna get more of the buttery feeling. Oh boy, butter. yeah. Okay, and then just right over here. One more. Oh, dude. Okay, so it's it's actually closest to the bone, right? So right there, and so where we're at, right there, showing 190, and Brett's right, it's a little tight. Go to the back. Yeah, so, oh, that's butter. That right there is butter. That's a little tight. We're showing 201 right there. So just right here, right in the middle, we're looking at, in fact, right in there, so I moved the probe right to the dead center. It's a little bit tighter. So we probably got another hour on this maybe. Okay. Not even, maybe 30 minutes or so. Sure. But I want to get this right. It has officially been 10 hours. We're hit that 203 magic number now. Now that we move the probe. Brett, let's go ahead and open it. Let me turn the light on. That's what I love about this. Hit the light. Yeah. All right. So that's on. Look at that bark, dude. Look at this. Look, wow. look at the bone sticking out. This is likely yep. going to just right out yep so Brett's just gonna give it a couple pokes where before we weren't quite there all right that is all oh like my butter gosh. look at that okay like so we're gonna go ahead and pull that out and we're gonna go ahead and set this and uh, get it wrapped we're gonna let this set for about for 30, 30 minutes we'll see you then well here we oh are oh my gosh <laughs> It's been a long, uh, oh, 10 hours, just ten, over 10 hours, correct. 10 and a half hours. Yep. And I got to say, when we first started doing this, I was I was hoping for eight, yep. expecting about 12. So we got right there in the middle, right in the sweet spot. About eight hours, we thought we were done. Yep. But really, we just needed to make sure. And uh, listen, the thing is, we wanted to get this right. Yes, we did. Uh, it might have overcooked a little bit in some parts. It is falling apart, literally. Uh, when, when I went to pull it out, it, like a part almost fell off right like okay got a rest right in fact speaking of that let me go ahead and get a close-up of this right quick at this point here is what we we're looking at when brett went to pull it out we actually had some of it fall apart so brett is going to work his magic by trying to pull that bone out if that bow bone pulls out we know this thing is done and done one hell swoop that thing just it's pulled got just a little bit from underneath but look it pulls off right clean. Oh, that is look a clean that. pull that is what you want that thing is pulled, and so from that point, you can still see the steam. This has been 30 minutes, and that thing is still sitting pretty. Now, originally, we would we wanted to flip it and take off the fat, but the thing is, is this thing is falling apart, so we're gonna mix it. Brett's gonna pull it, because we are gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna eat all of this. For not sure. right now, but we're gonna pull this. So Brett's gonna show how tender this is. Yep, just kind of dig right in. I mean, it's pull just. Pull that, it is falling apart. And then we'll pull out the fat as we can on the bottom. Look at that, look at the middle. Look how juicy and tender that is. Look how tender and juicy that is right there. And you're seeing the, the nice middle. red ring that you get around the edge from the smoke. Oh my gosh, it smells just ridiculous. That pit boss did this thing justice. Let's I mean, just put it that way. Look at the bar. Yep. All right, so we're gonna pull the rest of this, but before we do, we wanna eat this. Yes, it is late dude. at night, then we're gonna get this wrapped and we're gonna get this ready for a pulled pork event that we have yes, tomorrow. It's, <laughs> it's the least really. that we deserve for waiting for so long. But Brett, like we can say, it can look amazing. Yeah, it looks amazing. It does. Absolutely look amazing. amazing, exactly what we wanted. Right. It can smell amazing, in, clay, in case our whole backyard has not smelled amazing. All clay. day, uh, can I get a smell, yeah? Smell, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all, all for, for not. not. Cheers. I'll leave to that, my, my brother. brother. Mm, all the way through. Are you kidding me? 
Now we spritzed it several times throughout with uh, four times. We talked about it mm -hmm. four times with that beef broth, just oh a little bit God. to hit it with that seasoning, that savoriness. If we wanted a barbecue, we would have gone with some apple cider vinegar or some apple juice. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we kept this savory. Savory, yes, exactly. With, with some of the dishes that we have planned, oh there's, there's a reason why we wanted to keep the savory. Oh, that thing is just peeling apart. That is right just off. And melt in your mouth. Mm. Oh, absolutely. So the key is a lot of times, like we said, we want to pull the fat. You can you can leave the fat in. You can put as much fat as you want in it. Mm -hmm. We're going to pull some of it out. We'll leave a little bit in for flavor. Otherwise, this is spot on. This is the best pulled pork I've had. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you 100%. This is <laughs> so crazy. Good. The usual suspects that we've come up with, we put it on there. The beef broth to spritz on there. Amazing. Hopefully this helped you a little bit, at least one of the way. Now, one thing, the pork is very forgiving. It's amazing. Pork mm -hmm. butt. This was $13 for eight pounds. Pork right now. Pork right now is the way to go. You got that little bite of the pepper in there and the usual suspects that is so good. And the smokiness. I'm glad we went with the smoke tube, get a lot more smoke. The first time I did this, I didn't have a smoke tube. It was good bark, but we didn't get the smokiness. You and, taste but, that smokiness. And one thing I was worried about because of the smoke tube is that it was gonna be over smoked. Not mm -hmm. at all, not at all. This is just I'm trying to show, perfect. you can see that red, that bark, that um, ring, the ring that get yep. in there. So perfect. That's amazing. We hope you like this. If, we, if you did, make sure and give this a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can give us support. Another way you can support us is by checking in the description below this video for our merchandise. Our merchandise is brought to you through Digital Promotions. It works closely with Crossroads Missions. Crossroads Missions does amazing service work and we love being a part of who they are and what they do. In fact, a portion of all the purchases made through the Wall Twins goes to benefit Crossroads Missions and the work that they do. Brett, we also have a Patreon. Yeah, we do. In fact, we love our Patreon. Shout out to you guys. We love you so much and the support that you show us. In fact, if you're not a Patreon and you want to find out more how you can support us that way, that is posted below as well. Post below. Yeah, that's right. One day. <laughs> it's going to come one day. Maybe you want to smoke out with us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Man, that is so amazing. We love it. We love this Pit Boss Laredo. This thing did amazing work, Brett. I mean, oh, I'm man, amazing. Shout out to Pit Boss, by Pit the way. Boss, this for real. thing, man. Super excited. Super awesome excited tool. to toss more items on there. This is the first of many more of these to come. Yep. We absolutely love it. And I love getting to smoke these meats and mm -hmm. finding out more that we can do on the Laredo. Aside from coming to make this amazing pulled pork, why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my face.